What to do, YouTube? It's J Rex here. Um, as some people may or may not know, I mean, I talk about it all the time, but yeah. The economic collapse is right around the corner. This, we are fi officially in the year where shit will start being thrown at the fan. And, um, so yeah. 2015 is going to be the year where everything gets set in for the collapse, and then 2016 is going to be the year where the collapse is just, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen full force. Um, the reason why I state that is because Lindsay Williams, I talk about him all the time, check him out, Lindsay Williams. But Lindsay Williams works with the elite, and um, Lindsay Williams has stated that this year, September or October 2015, we're going to start experiencing the economic collapse. The stock market's going to collapse. Derivatives markets is going to collapse. Currencies around the world are going to collapse due to the derivatives market collapsing. And um, so, yeah, that's all going to start happening either September or, or October of this year. And my guess is because everything is going to happen towards the end of this year, we're going to. It's like getting punched. 2015 is going to to be the year when somebody throws the punch and then 2016 is going to be the year where we feel the punch so yeah <clears throat> so maybe some people are wondering how bad is this economic collapse going to be okay so the derivatives market is going to collapse the stock market is going to collapse what does that mean exactly According to, according to Lindsay Williams, what this means is the derivatives market is going to collapse, and you know, like I said, currencies. This is going to cause currencies around the world to collapse. You know, all countries are all countries' currencies are going to collapse. Dollar will collapse. Yuan will collapse. Japanese yen will collapse. Nobody's currency is going to make it, and shit. I think on Lindsay Williams' website, they're going as far as to say not even China will make it, and China is buying gold for crying out loud. So I guess not even all the all the gold China's buying will save them, which, whatever that means. But I don't know. But then Lindsay Williams said that China's currency is going to be the new world reserve currency. So maybe China will make it. I don't know. Hmm. That that was different. But what I do know for sure is a lot of currencies are not going to make it and the dollar for sure is not going to make it and it's going to collapse and it's going to hyperinflate resulting in rising food prices like a burger could end up costing 20 bucks in the near future. So that's going to happen for sure, according to Lindsay Williams. And um, <clears throat> so due to the derivatives market collapsing, banks are a lot of banks are going to collapse too. A lot of banks. A lot of banks are going to collapse, and only a few are going to make it. And also Lindsay Williams is stating um, the banks are going to collapse, and um, people are going to try to access their... Um, their IRA accounts or their 401k accounts, their savings, people are going to try to access their banking accounts on in their banks and they're not going to be able to access it. Everything's going to shut down and people it's going to shut down and everybody's going to lose pretty much all of their savings that with the bank and you know 401ks and IRAs, you know, so shit like that um and he also stating that people who have mortgages on something, um, he's also stating if they don't pay that very soon, 
they're going to end up losing that also very soon. So people who haven't paid off their mortgages are going to lose out, are going to, are going to lose that stuff, you know, the stuff that they're paying mortgages on, homes or cars or whatever. <clears throat> so it's going to be really nasty, and all this apparently is going to happen by the end of this year. Now, I understand how people feel about this. Like, to the average person, this sounds like, this is, this is too crazy. This is insane. Like, there's no way this can happen. Things have been going so well, how can all this crazy shit suddenly start happening? And it might be hard for a lot of people to believe this stuff that I'm saying. But, um, I mean, I'm a very, I'm a very logical person. Uh, I fix computers. That's my job. My job is computer repair. I analyze problems and I figure out how to solve them. You know, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to just somebody tells me this and I automatically believe it. I'm going to put that theory to the test and try different methods to solve a problem. That's my thinking strategy. So, if somebody's telling me all these conspiracy theories, I'm not just going to believe it. I'm going to be like, okay, let me look into it. And to me, it makes a lot of sense. Lindsay Williams has been right multiple times. He's, he predicted the price of what oil was going to hit in the past. He predicted when the dollar was going to die, and he predicted that correctly. And he, um, he predicted the, the conflicts in the Middle East. And, like, he's, he's been right multiple times about stuff. And, um, oh, but then some people might, might be thinking, the dollar did not die. But, yeah, the dollar, I, I think the dollar died. Um, in the year that Lindsay Williams said the dollar was going to die, was it 2012 or 2013, the dollar lost its reserve status as the world reserve currency. Now that's really bad, because if people, if America loses the world's, its status as the world reserve currency, that decreases demand for the dollar, thus lowering the value of the dollar, and the dollar's not the reserve, reserve currency anymore, so that's bad. Lower demand lower value for the dollar and yeah resulting in inflation and a lot of countries are bailing out on the dollar right now and it already happened like a year ago like so many countries bailed out on the dollar and yeah and the BRICS nations so it's it's dying it's so many countries are bailing out on the dollar China India Russia uh, Japan too I think even South Korea and uh, uh, South Africa, Brazil, none of these guys are fucking with the dollar anymore. So yeah. But yeah, it's really crazy. Um, it's it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really bad. A lot of people are going to lose all of their money. Um, a lot of people might they won't even be able to afford food. They won't be able to afford food because of infl hyperinflation. Because their paycheck is gonna be practically worthless. And um, a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money on food, and people that that's probably all they can afford. So people are going to be really struggling, struggling so much to the point that they can't afford to pay their bills anymore, and end up losing the stuff that they have mortgages on. That's what I think is going to happen. Lindsey Williams never really explained. He never ex really explained why people are going to lose their homes and cars if they don't pay their mortgage off. He never really explained it, but my best guess is the reason why people are going to to lose their homes is because they can't afford to pay the bills anymore because they're putting all their money in other stuff like food, food and water, ne major necessities, and because they're putting all their money into that, they're not going to be able to afford to pay the bills on their house, thus they lose it. That's my best guess, but he never really explained it. So, and I guess a lot of people are going to lose their money in the bank accounts. People that saved all of their life's savings in the bank account, they're going to lose everything, you know, uh, depending on which bank they got it in. And, um, yeah, stock market's going to collapse. A lot of people who invest into the stock market are going to get fucked up really bad, lose a lot of money. And, um... Yeah, it's going to be bad. I know my sister, my sister refuses to heed my words, and all of her money is, like, in the bank account. She's going to lose everything. 
I told her to buy gold and silver. She won't, she won't listen to me. She's going to have to learn the hard way. I talk about this at work all the time. Nobody fucking listens to me. I'm just another crazy conspiracy theorist who's just, who, you know, is just bullshit and just believes everything that the doom and gloom people be saying. But, you know, I guess I'll have to learn the hard way. So, yeah, it's going to be really bad. We probably got about eight months left before sh all that shit starts happening. Yeah, I need to start buying food. I need to start buying food, stock up on food, canned foods, and I need to buy more, buy more gold and silver. So yeah, it's going to be really bad, and I just hope anybody that watches this video will heed this advice and start taking their money out of the bank and start investing into gold and silver, start stocking up on food, buy your guns and ammunition, because this year and next year is going to be... It's gonna be a crazy ride. A lot. Of, it's gonna be the stock market crash all over again. It's gonna be 2008, but like 20 times worse. But yeah. Yeah, a lot of Americans are gonna be hurting, and a lot of people around the world are gonna be hurting. A lot of people are gonna lose everything that they that they have, all of their money, all of their, possibly even their home and their cars and. And a lot of people are going to be hungry because their dollars or won, yen, can't afford food anymore. It's going to be really bad. People are, are going to be hurting. A lot of people are not ready for this. It's going to be a nasty time. A lot of people are going to be suffering. And they're going to be suffering because they were ignorant and they refused to listen to the people that tried to help them. And they're going to be, you know... They're, they're going to wake up out of their delusion. They're going to wake up out of this dream. They're going to get out of the Kim Kardashian paradigm. They're going to wake the fuck up and wake up out of their Super Bowl-induced comas, their fucking Jersey Shore comas, and they're going to wake up and realize that shit has just got real. But by the time they realized it, it's too late. They're already broke, living on the street, no food to feed their families. It's going to be bad. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I've, I've given silver to my friends and family. But unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. I've only helped maybe five people, ten people, out of like four, possibly three billion people that are going to be hurting in this collapse. But I did what I could, so... <laughs> Ah, just got to focus on what I can do in my control. And that's myself. Focus on what I can do. Which is me. For sure, 100%. One person that I can save 100% is me. But, you know. So, yeah, it's going to be really bad. So, that, that's how bad I think it's going to be. So, thanks for watching. I hope people will heed this word if they have not already we got about eight eight months left until the final showdown things it's gonna get nasty I hope people are ready thanks for watching peace and I, I know people might think it's really crazy if people don't believe me do the research and you'll find the information but thanks for watching peace